Pan Am sponsored, it probably wouldn't happen. Check this out. Looks a bit bent there, Stig. Yeah. Yes, copy that there, Bombardier. <laughs> Just have a look at the front there. You know the funniest thing. I came off and then Dean comes straight over and top me on his 450. Yeah. All good fun? All guns blazing, mate. All good. I don't know how Les Jensen and his crew from Aussie Court Adventures did it, but they not only managed for us to run the famous Kreb track on our last day, but they organised for constant drizzle all day to make it virtually impassable to anything but quads. Talk about leaving the best till last, what an awesome way to top off a magic top end adventure. of the water flow in some of these river crossings was just incredible. It was often all five guys could do to stop the bikes being washed downstream. This isn't necessarily the deepest crossing we've done today, but it's definitely the broadest one. This is the Daintree River, and she's flowing full force, and it's raining, so yeah, we're having a little bit of trouble getting the quads all across. The Daintree River is full of crocs, so you can't go in the water at all. Yeah, whatever. Just like that it was all over, 2700 k's of some of the best quad riding Australia has to offer. It was just a matter of loading the quads onto the truck, piling into the bus and heading back to base camp in Atherton. What a trip. You want to go now don't you? Ah oh well, you're only human. Well, they don't work in four-wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs>